Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the notorious chain rule. The chain rule is used to differentiate uh, composite functions uh, such as this f, which consists of g composed to h. So for two given functions, g of x and h of x, that are differentiable, the derivative of f of x which consists of g of h of x is going to be derivative of g of h of x times derivative of h of x. So first we, we derivate the function itself and then we derivate the argument of that function which is another function. We can use the Leibniz notation in which we decompose this uh, functions into its components so we say that y equals to f of u and u is g of x so they are the two differentiable uh, functions in other words f of x derivative of f of x dy dx is going to be dy du times du dx these are the two components and while we are talking about this chain rule Let's actually uh, see how we can uh, apply a rule for a power of a function. So if you have a function y equal u at power n, where u is g of x, another function in regards to x, then the derivative d dx of u at power n, you're going to apply the power rule as you know it, n times u at power n minus 1, multiplied by the derivative of that u function, so du dx. But let's use also the notation with the g of x directly. So if you have d dx of g of x, so a function at a power n, this derivative will be equal to n, g of x at power n minus 1, as we know, but since it's more than just x, we're going to have to derivate the g of x as well, so times derivative of g of x. You're going to do examples, hopefully enough, for you to, to handle well any function. Let's stop here with this lesson and uh, look at the final rule that we're going to learn for these polynomial functions.